you got some pretty tough customers coming into town. Oh, absolutely. Anytime the World of Outlaws come into town, it's it's going to be a challenge, and they're going to race you every lap. And, uh, you know, we got twin 30s here to do. So, uh, you know, when the checker flag falls on the first one, uh, everybody forgets about that one, and it's time to, to get ready for the next one. So it, it's a pretty neat deal. Uh, and when you have the best in the country here uh, for the fans all to see, it's, it's great. So it makes me sit up in the seat a little taller, too. The year you won, 2002, I was an on-track announcer, and the stands were rocking. I mean, you could feel the seats vibrating, even the guys that don't like you. Because on a given <laughs> night, you know, the fans, some love Ed Lynch Jr. and some don't. Yeah. But that's what puts people in the seats. Yeah. But they were all cheering for you. And I'm a pretty big guy, six foot two, about 265. One of your crew guys come down, he was about 125, <laughs> and tackled me and almost knocked me over. People were excited. Yeah, the adrenaline was was flying here for the locals that night and uh uh you know the car was was very easy to drive i could have i could have done another 30 laps you know i think at that time it was 40 laps i think and uh um i think you know it's just one of those times it was a full moon night because i'll never forget that i always said that's what sucked uh, mark kinzer off of turn two was the full moon it, the draw of that <laughs> but uh no it was a it was an awesome race as a matter of fact uh, me and my two boys, we watch it every night before we come back. So good. we watched it on the CD last night, and it was one heck of a race. I mean, second, third, fourth, fifth, it was changing. Uh, every turn it was changing and it was it was one heck of a race it was a it was a good showcase for Lernerville and uh, and obviously very nice for me well how about the fans Timmy Schaefer's chasing you two <laughs> former <laughs> Lernerville champions battling yeah. it out Timmy said that uh, Roth his car owner at the time still complaining about that because <laughs> he didn't get you but uh, and the fans who do we cheer for you know yeah, two local yeah. guys doing a really yeah. nice job yes it was it was a great job and uh, you know Tim was able to come back and uh, get his vengeance back he was able to win it uh, a few years later and uh, you know so it is important to us and it's a big event for us for the sprint cars and uh, you know Don Martin will be proud of, of what he started and and uh, Ted Johnson and uh, and now the the corporate and and um, everything you know changes and look at this I mean this is this We're, is nice for this the is fans. very yeah. nice you know, so. viewpoint productions and uh, advanced video solutions uh, really putting this together and it's going to be uh, archived and also uh, live streaming on the internet now in addition to winning one you also had a second place here in one of the uh, races yeah that one uh, it's like well the, the year after we were we were fast also had the same car same engine had everything ready and i think we got time trials in and that was all it rained out both days so uh, we had to wait till the following year so the following year we didn't end up with the same car or anything but we had a pretty nice car and uh, we were leading and then there was a red flag and then uh, uh the purge tank on the radiator uh broke off and and then all the water went under the tires and i ended up second i'm not complaining but uh you know nobody remembers who finished second it's always a winner i always talk about the family your oldest son a uh, pretty good uh, ball player going to college your youngest son really into the racing it's special when they can be part of what you do oh absolutely we just came from eldor out the king's royal and uh people were coming up to us car owners from uh other other competitors and stuff and they're saying this is really nice you got your whole family working here and and everybody does their thing and 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 you're being very competitive and uh they said that's that's got to be refreshing to you and i said well that's the way i had to start it wasn't you know like this but it was in uh you know the pra deals and in, in uh, jalopies and things like that but with my dad and but then we you know we graduated into modifieds and sprint cars and uh silver crown cars so we've always kept it a family uh deal and uh I never regretted it, and I don't think my boys have done either. Well, you mentioned your dad, a multi-time champion in the modifieds and the sprint cars at a lot of the tracks in the area. But I've always, when I mentioned your mom, probably one of the most knowledgeable women in motorsports, both of them in the Hall of Fame. You'll be joining them at some time in the future. Uh, you were destined to race and have success. 
<laughs> well, I, I had a, a tough role to follow in both my mother and my father. My mother is probably my, my biggest uh, critic if I don't do well, and uh, she'll, she'll tell me. But, uh, you know, it, it's always been that way, and she was that way with my father. And, and uh, she knows racing, and uh, my father knows both sides of racing too, the behind the steering wheel and, uh, you know, from the other side. So it's, you know, we've really enjoyed uh, the growth of this sport in this area, and we have really enjoyed it throughout the country. And uh, we try to make our mark and try to be as fast as we can wherever we go. And um, that's racing. Let's, we want to wrap this up by thanking uh, people involved with the team and your crew. Yes, I have Eric Womerdorf, that's our, our chief mechanic. And then I have my boys, Ed the Third and Cy. And uh, I have other people that, that help out with us, my mother and father. And it's just uh, the Mesitis Motorsports, the large construction and, and uh, precise racing and J&J &J chassis and Kistler engines, uh, VRP shocks. And uh, that's about it, Weld Wheels. The biggest compliment you could have is when the outlaws come in and they ask you for advice on the track. <laughs> that has to make you feel special. Well, yes, uh, I've I've earned my respect with them, and uh, they they've had respect, you know, from me to them. So, uh, you know, they're out on the road, they're traveling all the time. They see all these tracks, all the facilities, and they come to an area and they they want to seek out who who does well here, who's seen it all here, and then they they want to talk to them and find out about it. And that's the way you ought to do it. And and uh, uh, they they adapt very quickly, as you will see. We're talking to the 2002 Don Martin winner and multi-time track champion, Ed Lynch Jr. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much, Don.